Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmodded with me Eflux and that's a lot of people look how much people <laughs> came out from the airport and they go with the bikes directly to the subway <laughs> that's a lot of people and before we, we start I just want to address one of the comments regarding the, the train station so I already have some external connections here. If you look at this train track here, these are the external rail world connections. You see it connects here to the outside world and here as well. So this line terminates, uh, terminates here. So people exit here and from here they can access any of the other train lines that connect to the other parts of the city or they can get on the bus or they can get on the metro which is here or they can get on the, um, on the monorail or they can go to the blimp this awesome stuff here so this is what I'm doing to connect the internal if I understood your comment correctly um, this user's comment which I forget the name I'm sorry um, not like I have a billion comments, but I literally just <laughs> forgot your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my international train station, and this line is the one that connects the rest of the city. Hope it makes sense. Regarding the rework of this area, I might... I'm still not completely sure, because it's a lot of work. And I still have so much stuff to do. And I still want to deploy a lot of residential areas around here, so I don't know. Because the goal of this series is not to make the most perfect city ever, which I probably wouldn't be able to do <laughs> anyway, even if I tried, but it's to reach 150k while still making it aesthetically pleasing, or at least not too ugly, and functional. And that's kind of what we are almost doing. We have currently 101,000 population, so that's... Um, that's very good. And on today's ex episode, it's going to say episode. I don't know. Ah, it's Friday when I'm recording this, and uh, I just had a long day at work. So apologies if if I if I do some mistakes with my vocabulary because I'm so tired. And when I'm tired, my English suffers. But at the same time, I'm highly motivated to play this game. So hopefully that balances out the, the tiredness. The first thing I want to do here is to straighten this road. I don't like this kind of weird curve. So I want to make this kind of straight. Which means I might have to reorganize. Yeah, yeah, I might need to push these things here. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Or, or I think I have an idea. I just stretch this road here and then I connect this one here. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like this. Yeah, so I don't have to move this stuff. Although I might, just so I can have more space, let's see. Yeah, we have plenty of water availability. Which means, if I can push these things to the right, reorganize the shoreline, I will have more space after terraforming, that is, I'll have more space to zone buildings. And grow the city even more. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But actually, before, let me take a quick look at the horizon just to see the pop-up of messages that is pop-up here. What is this? Not enough raw materials. You should have a lot of materials. Okay, what does this produce? Metals. Oh, and there is something. Oh, so many things. Oh, what is this? Ice Cube Factory. You still survive. Yes, <laughs> they have no electricity. You still solve yeah, I forgot to unzone this. Yeah, I forgot to unzone this. My bad. My bad. So what I wanted to say is that uh, now that we have all the industries and they're all level 5, uh, I need to address this, but I guess this will going to be another episode. Because right now I want to really um, rezone or rework this area here a bit. But yeah, there's still a lot that needs to be done around here. 
but that's for another time. Right now, I'm going to rezone this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to terraform this a bit to make this a bit more linear, not so wonky curves. And I will place some more roads to reflect the new layout of the of the shore and I'll be right back. with this look at these trees these ones oh god okay I understand why I was going to say these ones don't have any leaves and these have but as usual every time I play with the water my city floods and this is no exception <laughs> look at this <laughs> really me and terraforming it's not a, it's not a good combination. Let's see if this is going to settle. That's a lot of water, but the pumping trucks should come and yeah, here they are, here they are. Should come and get rid of all this extra water. Oh wow, it created a tsunami! Look all these cars! Oh no! Help me! Because that's the sound cars make when they drown. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How, how are we here? This is just... Let me put triple speed. This is just bad. Let's see if this will adjust in a little bit. Yeah, I put these trees to these guys because I couldn't align this the way I wanted. And after a while, I just give up. I don't have patience. Okay, I messed up the buses, apparently. Or is it because of the water? It's because of the water. Okay. Let's enjoy this flood. Yeah, let's enjoy this moment. Okay, it's almost gone. Just this bit of water needs to be cleared. Where are the pen? Oh, wow. These, these are brave. Or stupid. 
the border between bravery and stupidity is often uh, very narrow. Come on, where are my pumping trucks? Oh, this is just evaporating. Okay, that will do. Uh -huh. I think this is just leftover of that tsunami. Why are you complaining about not having water? When you clearly do have water. Why are you Oh, because of this? <laughs> because those pipes were empty, although they were covered by um, water pipes that are connected, the fact that I had those leftovers of pipes that were connected to anything, they were, in a practical sense, connected to the empty pipes, if, if I'm making sense. Weird. Never saw this before. Oh, this is so weird. This is going to annoy the hell out of me. And I just put so many of these trees. Okay, let's let's test other trees from far. I don't understand why... Could it be pollution? Maybe it's still pollution, let me check. Uh, where do I see the pollution here? No, it's not pollution. Or maybe it is? Yeah, it's a bit brownish around here. Yeah, maybe it is pollution. So I just leave it be for a while and then I'll come back. Why, why pollution here though? Hmm, weird. Okay. Well, I'll leave it for now. Because I wanted to disguise the imperfections of this shoreline or quay or qui or whatever this is called with the trees. But uh, if I zoom in, it's not too bad. If I zoom out, it's a, it's weird. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how are we here? Okay, water seems to be flowing nicely now. Well, nicely might not be the right word, but good enoughly. Yeah, it's good enough. Shall I put the uh, water, a water pump here? Uh, no, I leave it. Too much traumatizing experiences creating this kind of like but not really alike. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. But I, I'm as happy as I will ever be. Yeah. Yeah, I should have terraformed this properly before I built this, but... Oh, well, lessons learned for the next city. Do not build industry in non-flat areas. Yeah. Okay. So... What I wanted to do to revamp this area a bit is to continue this road and making sure I have as much zonable spaces as possible. I can't zone that one apparently. So something like this, like this, and can I? I can. Perfect. Oh, there's a pillar there, is it? Damn it. It would be perfect if I could just connect this road here. Okay, I guess it's not going to happen. So what I'll do is just this, since this fits here, I'll just do like this. This way I don't have to reorganize so many areas. Same here and here. Okay. This way I have a bit more zonable areas. Just going to pause this a little because I need to destroy these power cables. I don't think it's needed. And even if they are, they are kinda in the way. These are okay because they follow the tram track. So I'm not too bothered by these at the moment at least. I have water here. Yeah. And power. Yeah, power is connected through here. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. Actually, I'm going to zone 
I des I des a little density residential here and here as well. Yeah, a little bit more filling up these empty spaces. Yeah, not too bad. Now this area for sure needs a park to raise the land value. Can I squeeze in? I can. So I'm, I'm putting up... Oh, can I put two parks? I think I can and I will. Because this generates a lot of noise. So... I'm putting parks here and I guess some commercial buildings here as well. It creates a sound barrier with this building. Yeah, and then I can put some... Oh no, in here as well. Here, and I guess up to here. Basically everywhere around this area. Let's see the noise pollution. Yeah, it's quite significant as you can see. We have this, oh, and this as well. Yeah, this is... Well, this is going to be commercial area then. I don't think I can squeeze in any residential, or can I? Where could I squeeze in some residential? I guess around here. And maybe around here as well. Here. I will try here as well. Okay, and I think everywhere else is going to be commercial. Yeah. Everything else here is commercial. Uh, this actually, I can do something like this and then like this. Well, since I'm doing this, I might as well do all the other areas. Which can be something like this, something like this. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think this will work. Oh, there's still this empty space here. Let's put this here. Okay. So we don't have a lot of demand for residential, but, but because this is low density residential, I hope it will work out just fine. Okay, the trees are start. Okay, it was pollution. The trees are starting to to appear because the the leaves change color when it's there is a polluted area. For example, here it's less dense than these ones. For example. But yeah, it was the flooding or something like that. I don't know what caused that pollution to be there, but it was there. And I'm going to put some more trees over here. On this roundabout, I think it's time for some decoration. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, it's not too bad. Trees really help. I feel I filled in these blank spaces here with trees. I put a path here so that people from this side can cross to the other side easily. Yeah. And this is basically a low density and low commercial area with a lot of public transportation here. <laughs> <laughs> and probably more than, than it's needed to be honest but I don't think putting a high density 
edit here would look good because all these buildings are kind of flat and then here we have the high um, the tall buildings so having having like tall buildings here and then flat and then tall buildings just in a little bit of space here I don't think it would look good also because this is close to our nature reserve so I think it's um I think it fits the theme the fact that this, these are all low density buildings and now the trees look actually nice look at this not bad not bad yeah much better can I take out these dark spots over here let's see if I can uh, like this Flag oh okay no it's not oh my god I'm going to flood my city again ain't I okay apparently not Whew, it was close okay oh no every time I mess with the water I get punished by Neptune or Aquaman or whoever <laughs> lives in these seas <laughs> okay I don't think it's going to flood yeah this actually doesn't look too bad actually doesn't look too bad and as the demand grows we will fill up all of this with buildings yeah it's not too bad actually it's growing on me in the beginning I was like eh. when I just finished before I put the trees I wasn't too sure but actually the trees really give a whole different look to this area what we do have floods Okay, I think it was just temporary because of the that adjustment I did just now. Yeah, should be okay. Yeah, and I didn't have to rework any of these areas. Wh how are we in terms of trains? It's a bit busy here, but not too much. We have one, two, three trains. Okay, four with this one here it's not too bad and on the next episode I think we'll focus on industry more specifically the unique factories because we kind of delegated this area for the unique factories and I reckon let me just take a quick look uh, warehouses unique factories that we still have uh oh one two three four five six seven eight nine buildings nine buildings we already plopped one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve buildings counting with the warehouses which i wasn't counting by the way but i think the warehouse we already plopped all the different ones let me just check yeah i think we have yeah we have a large warehouse don't we uh, actually I don't know I don't think we have do we no we don't have a large one yeah so this space starts to look very very small which means I might put some buildings here because I doubt that they all will fit here but we shall see and if I do put some buildings here I need to connect these roads to this side there's a connection here but this probably won't be enough I should probably connect this to this yeah yeah let's take a quick look at the horizon see if we have any issues what is this it's just dead people and now that we made these adjustments let's take a quick look at the traffic 81 okay still above 80 let's take a quick look where are the problems so this is not the problem this is also not the problem this is a bit of a problem it, it's big big queue of cars it's not backing up and the reason why I'm saying it's not backing up is because there's a lot of crosses and I think that's why the traffic is backing up a bit well backing up you know accumulating it's not for me backing up is when 
you have no other reason for the traffic to stop and it's a long queue of cars. Here there's a lot of traffic lights and stuff. So it's 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 accumulating traffic but in small segments. If it makes sense, so it's not one big row of cars, it's multiple small ones that are bundled together. I probably can still improve these things. But again, my my plan is to reach the number I want to reach, which is 150. We are slowly getting there. And a 50k population. And then I'll have a better idea or a final idea or a final map of all the traffic flow. Yeah, definitely this one is something I need to address. That's for sure. Here, it's a bit red-ish. It's okay. It's not. It's not too bad. I mean, none of the areas I don't think are too bad. Mm. This bit is a bit overutilized. But it's still flowing, the traffic. I might um, have to create another bridge here, maybe from here to connect here. But they have all of this and they are not using this one. What if, what if I make this a uh, four lane? Can I do it? Okay, here I'd have to move that building and that. Maybe I could. But I don't, I'm, I'm not sure this is going to help a lot, to be honest. Yeah. Because they are waiting a long time to enter. Should I... I think I can play here with the priorities and traffic lights and whatnot. Where is it? Where is that option? Is this the one? No. Traffic routes, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, adjust roads. I don't want to upgrade. I just want to come here. And if I select this... Hmm, right. If I select this... I mean, a lot of cars are going... Ah, look where they are going. From here, oh, I see. Why would they, why would they want to use this one? Why not? Hmm. A lot of cars are coming from here. To go through here, why not use this one? Why do you want to do all of this? Wait, weird. I guess what I'll do. And yeah, now, now it it it's not packing up anymore. Did you see? It was a big line of cars here, and while I was checking the the road, the traffic, um, it cleared up. Let's take a quick look at the traffic again. 81, 82, yeah. yeah. Wow, this is quite busy. It's not picking up too much because this is just for the um, cargo train, but still, still <laughs> a lot of, of trucks. The oil industry generates a lot of trucks, holy crap. Okay. Well, I think today was productive in terms of the growth of the city. We plopped a bunch of buildings, we still have a lot of demand. Why are you complaining? Why are you abandoned? Not enough educated workers. Not enough educated workers. Uh, I remember seeing here a message for the cemetery. Here it is. And I think there was another one here. Yep. Yeah, these times make me miss the mods. At least these, these ones that just improve the quality of life. Like emptying cemeteries and invert that okay yeah there's a lot of abandoned buildings although we have demand but we don't have enough educated workers let's take a quick look so it's slightly under red hmm. 
Let's see, one of these guys is complaining. So what's your problem? You're missing two well-educated workers and you're complaining. Okay. Maybe I should build some more. Let's take a quick look. Okay, we have a bunch of high schools. Maybe I should just plop one. Maybe here? No, it doesn't fit. I guess I can put here since it's empty space. And does it fit anywhere here? It does fit here. I can put this here as well. And I guess near these spaces that I just zoned. Okay, so where exactly here? No, no, doesn't fit. Do you fit here? You do. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. And maybe here? Right in the edge of, edge of the map. Edge of the map, edge of the road. Right next to the highway. I think that's a nice place. Look at the f this fence. Why <laughs> Why put the fence here if you're really not, you know, fencing anything? So the kids can be playing here and then the ball falls down. They're chasing the ball and boom! Yeah. Okay, I, I know this is just a game, but I, I'm still going to put these barriers here. <laughs> it just looks weird if I don't. <laughs> Just imagine, imagining a kid just running through here. At least there's some kind of physical barrier. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, so this was a, a productive episode in terms of the revamp of this area. And a bit of growth as well. We have 180k. I think we start with 101 or 102. So while I was messing about this we developed quite a bit our, our growth grew quite a bit nice okay guys i think i'm going to wrap up this episode just looking at the horizon to see if there's something urgent that i need to address checking all the pop-ups everything seems okay oh what's here oh it's the noise is it mm -hmm. citizens are sick Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at the ambulances picking up the people. Nice. Yeah, but I mean, I, uh, they have the sun barriers here. Oh, I don't have them here. Uh, could it be why? But I, I don't have this with sun barriers. What if I upgrade to this? Can I upgrade? But just one way, please. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, okay. It's a bit weird, but at least there's a sun barrier. Oh, look how close these buildings are to the... To this... To the road. Wow. Nice. Okay. Hopefully that will improve the health of my citizens, because the health of my citizens comes first. If we don't count with expansion, money, and all that stuff, then comes the health of my citizens as a priority. Okay, this we already know what this is. Yeah, I think I think now it is it. And on the next episode, we will expand the industry and put m more unique factories around here. Because this area is still a bit empty and we need to put more buildings and produce more materials. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next episode. Bye!